Baba Yaga, The Flying Witch Retold by Susanna Davidson Tasha sat on the doorstep and took her doll from her pocket. She gave her a little piece of bread and a sip of water. The little doll ate. The little doll drank. Then her eyes lit up like stars. Little doll, little doll, said Tasha. Stepmother has sent me to the witch's hut. She eats children as if they were chickens. What shall I do? Take some bread for Baba Yaga's dog, said the doll, and some ham for Baba Yaga's cat. Do not fear, I will protect you. Tasha packed the ham and bread. Then she set out through the deep dark forest. Soon a wild wind began to blow. The trees creaked. Their branches groaned. Tasha looked up and saw Baba Yaga zooming through the forest in a flying pot. She pushed herself along with a wooden spoon and wiped away her tracks with a long wooden broom. Tasha followed her to a strange little hut. It twirled around on chicken's legs and winked at Tasha with its window-like eyes. Baba Yaga stood in front of her hut and sang, Magic hut, magic hut, turn around, send your legs and touch the ground. The magic hut spun around on its bony legs and replied, I can dance, I can see a little girl in front of me. Aha, said Baba Yaga, what are we here? Papa, please, said Tasha, my stepmother sent me for a needle and thread. Baba Yaga smiled a dreadful smile. Her mouth was full of iron teeth. Her hair was greasy, her hands were warty. Her nose reached down to her chin. I can help you, croaked Baba Yaga. But first you must sweep my hut. Baba Yaga called for her maid. Make me a nice big fire, she said. I'm going to eat that little girl for lunch. Inside the hut, Tasha began to sob. I don't want to be eaten, she cried. Then, give me that ham, said a skinny black cat, and I'll help you. Eat it all. Thank you, said the cat. Now run away as fast as you can, purred the cat. But first take these. Baba Yaga will chase you when you hear her coming. Throw down this mirror. If she keeps on coming, throw down this comb. Tasha took the mirror and the comb and ran outside. Where Baba Yaga's big black dog was waiting. It snarled, it growled, it showed its sharp teeth and Tasha threw it the bread. Keep running, barked the dog, keep running. Back came Baba Yaga. Are you sweeping, little girl? Yes, I'm sweeping, hissed the cat. Baba Yaga leaped into her hut. Where's a girl? She screamed at her cat. Why did you help her? That girl gave me ham to eat. 
I've served you for a long time, said the cat, but you've never given me food. Baba Yaga raced out to her dog. Why did you stop her? she shouted. I've served you for a long time, said the dog, but you've never given me food. That girl gave me bread to eat. Baba Yaga didn't wait a moment longer. She jumped into her pot. She pushed off with her wooden spoon and she flew off, sweeping away her tracks with her long wooden broom. Thum, thum, thum went the spoon. Swish, swish, swish went the broom. Baba Yaga's coming, cried the little doll. Tasha threw down the mirror. It became a wide, wide river. Curses, cried Baba Yaga. She bent her bony body and drank and drank and drank. Soon there wasn't a drop of water left. Then once again, Tasha heard the thumping spoon and the swishing broom. Baba Yaga is coming, cried the little doll. Tasha threw down the comb. A huge mountain sprang up behind her. Curses, cried Baba Yaga. She began to chew through the mountain. But her iron teeth were rusty from drinking the wide, wide river. One by one, her iron teeth snapped. Curses, cried Baba Yaga. I can't fly over the mountain. I'll have to go back. With a thump, thump, thump and a swish, 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 Baba Yaga sped back to her magic hut. Tasha didn't stop running until she reached home. Her father rushed out to meet her. Where have you been? he asked. Stepmother sent me to Baba Yaga's hut, said Tasha, and the witch tried to eat me. Then it's time your stepmother left, said her father, and he threw her out of the house. She was never seen again.